Alright you guys, got another video here for you. Now if you're having issues with your computer and you can't turn the computer on, it sort of gives you a blue screen of death, it can't get to the desktop and you've got an error message here and uh, you want to be able to rescue some data or some files on there quickly, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Now this happens to work with all versions of Windows, whether it be Windows XP, Windows uh, 7, Windows Vista, Windows 8, 8.1 and Windows 10 any of those versions it will work for. You're going to need to have a couple of things. You're going to need to have a version of Windows installed on a flash drive and make it bootable or you're going to have to have a Windows disk to boot to. Okay. The next thing you're going to need is to have a USB flash drive handy to store your data on or an external drive. Okay. Now normally these error messages will start up like this and then they will shut down like you're seeing here and it will continually do that it's called a reboot loop and uh, you're going to have problems getting to the desktop or even into safe mode so plug in your USB flash drive with your uh, windows on it and also your external drive or your flash drive so you can store your data onto okay so you put the both of them into the computer and we're going to go into the BIOS and change the boot order to boot to uh, that actual flash drive with Windows on it. So when you're in your BIOS it may look like this one or the UEFI BIOS. Go to the boot section and change the boot order to boot to either CD-ROM drive or removable devices or USB flash drive which will be your version for Windows. Make sure you select the right one. So in this case we're going to be doing the CD-ROM drive for our Windows. You will then get push any key to boot to your Windows so we're going to push that and it will start to load up. Now once this starts to load up here you're going to get this screen here saying Windows Setup. All you need to do here is click Next. You don't need to worry about what language, just click on Next here. And down the bottom left hand corner you can see Repair Your Computer. Click on Repair Your Computer and this will open up another box. There we go. And you can see here, choose an option, and we're going to choose Troubleshoot. Now, if you're in a uh, Windows 7 or an older version of Windows, you won't get this window. You'll get a different one. And from here, Advanced Options. So we're going to click on Command Prompt here. Once the Command Prompt window opens, you'll see we have an X colon backslash sources here. We need to change to our Windows uh, directory. So you can see D, and I go DIR. And you can see I've now found my backup drive, which is my USB flash drive for backing up my data. That is on the D drive. So you need to find your Windows drive. Now I'll quickly show you here. You can either go through and go to the next letter, D and then E, and type DIR until you find your Windows drive, like so. Or you can type in this command here, which will list all the drives on there and it will tell you uh, how many drives you've got on there and you'll be able to know roughly uh, what uh, drives you've got and which one to boot to okay but I just find going through from uh, the C drive to D drive to E drive until I find uh, the actual Windows drive okay it's very easy but this is the command you're going to need to do if you want to list all your drives and you can see here C D E F so we know it's going to be one of those okay from C to F so it happened to be E in my case, and uh, that's the one we're on right now. So now we're on the right Windows drive. We're going to do CD to change directory to our Windows drive. And now we're in the Windows directory, as you can see here. And from here, we can just type in notepad.exe. And what this is going to do is allow us to open up Notepad from Command Prompt. Now from here we can click File, Open, and then you should see your drives. You can see this PC. Now this will give us access to all our drives on this computer. So from here now we can uh, see all our drives. We can see our backup drive, our Windows drive. So let's go into there, Users, User Account Name, and you can see here we've got access to just about anything we want here. So go into Documents here. We can see our important docs. Right click. I'm going to copy this. And then navigate back to my backup drive, which is my USB flash drive. 
and paste it straight into there. And depending on the size and the amount of data will depend on uh, how long that will take to back up. Now, I wouldn't advise you to use this as a massive backup uh, instance because obviously it takes a lot of time to do so. So let's do one more here. I'm going to go back into my Windows Drive, Users, the account, and go to the desktop. Now you may see no files inside here. The reason why is because it's looking for text files. So take that out and change the type, the file type to all files, and you will then see your files for everything inside that folder. So I'm just going to quickly back up this to show you. You can back up large files, copy, and then we're going to navigate back to our USB backup drive. There we go and then right click in here and paste. Now this will take a bit of time because obviously it's four gigabytes and it took a, f a few minutes because it's doing this inside memory. So it will take a bit of time, but you can uh, back up larger files, okay? But I would advise you to just keep it to small documents and photos and stuff like that. So I speeded that process up a little bit there, but there you can see we have our files backed up. And once we've got them all backed up, we can then just close all this off. We don't need it anymore. Close this off as well and shut the PC down and we're pretty much good to go here. Turn off the PC. And that's how you can quickly get access to your files without booting into Windows using a Windows CD. Very easy to do and you can back up those important documents if your PC won't boot. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.